want to thank all the witnesses for your willingness to come to the committee and, and help us with your work. Uh, first of all, I want to just say how strongly I support H.R. 1108, Mr. DeFazio's bill. Uh, just read it. It's three pages, uh, a model of, of efficiency and uh, a common sense piece of legislation, and I think we should get it done. I do want to point out, however, you know, a number of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle have commented about the, uh, the sadness of the shutdown and, and how we shouldn't let that happen again. I want to remind my, my colleagues who started this shutdown. The president took full credit for this. We had general agreement on a lot of bills across Congress. Matter of fact, this week we're going to have seven appropriations bills that are basically agreed upon bipartisan House and Senate that will proceed. It was the president's decision to take hostages, flight attendants, air traffic controllers, TSA workers. That's what we objected to. And to suggest that, that a member of Congress should give up their pay because the president decided to take hostages? Give me a break. Before coming to Congress, I was an iron worker for 20 years. I represented people for a living. I negotiated contracts on behalf of my workers, the men and women of the Iron Workers Union, the Carpenters Union, stagehands, wardrobe workers. I negotiated contracts with them, for them, on their behalf. Coming to Congress, I still do that for federal employees and other, and other workers. Even when I took my members out on strike, when I asked my members, the men and women of my unions, to go on strike, I got paid because they wanted me in there fighting for them, that I would have no distractions and no backsliding, no backstepping. So I advised my colleagues on the, on the Democratic side, take your pay, keep fighting. That's the attitude that the Democrats should have. It was the president's decision, reckless, Reckless decision, irresponsible decision to shut this government down. Don't forget that. And any Democrat who's willing to, to negotiate with somebody who takes workers hostage should be disgraced. And I'm glad my colleagues did not do that. The starting pay for a TSO is about $28,000 a year. Are you kidding me? There are fast food places that pay more than that. So we shouldn't be surprised when TSOs making $28,000 a year with a 35-day shutdown are not coming back. And if we shut them, if the president shuts it down again and we have basic agreement again between House and Senate on the bill to go forward and end the shutdown, if the president says no and shuts the government down again, Again, we will, we will face that same dilemma. And these TSOs, after that 35 days of, and some of them have not been paid yet, if they get put on furlough or, or, or laid off again, uh, you can expect that they'll, they'll just walk. The job is tough enough as it is. So I agree. It's shameful that, that anyone would shut this government down. I mean, it, it, just, it just hurts the image of the, this government in the eyes of the American people who we all do work for. But taking hostages is not acceptable either. I yield back. Thank you.